Peace, love, and light, my dear Capricorns. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tara and Zada Butterfly. And I'm here to give you this mid-month reading for September 2021. Uh, this is a general reading. That means that some things may resonate while things may not. Um, the way I'm doing this reading is I'm going to pull uh, two moonology cards to see what the possible, your uh, person's possible moon sign, if you know their birth chart, what the person that you're dealing with or dealt with, um, what their moon sign is. This can be talking about the person to come be coming your way or the person you've already dealt with. Okay, um, so let's get on into this reading. So, oh wow, two flipped out. So the person you're dealing with, I just bit my card, could possibly have a, a moon in Aries. Okay. Or they have a moon in Scorpio. Or they have strong Scorpio in their chart or strong Aries in their chart, okay? And so I'm going to use these court cards to kind of like try to isolate who you possibly can be dealing with. The person said, y'all, y'all, I'm dealing with so-and-so. Yep, they have a so-and-so moon. Mm -hmm. We'll see. All right, you might have a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries with a Scorpio moon or somebody who has strong fire in the chart. Or you have a King of Swords that's a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra with an Aries moon or strong air in the chart. So it looks like you're dealing with somebody who either has strong air, mostly, uh, definitely strong fire in their chart, uh, possibly a Scorpio moon or an Aries moon, or they have strong Scorpio and Aries in their chart. So it's either strong fire, a smidget of, of Scorpio water, Scorpio specifically, and um, they possibly are an air sign or a fire sign, you know past energy, what has happened in the past for my dear Capricorns and their love situation. You, you like, if you know, like, the person, if you know somebody's birth chart, this, this is, like, really will be fairly easy to, so, yeah, connect with that, yo, because we also have our north node, you know, like I said, predominant in your chart, knowing what your north node is, um, and so on, you know, that helps you. Um, different aspects of a chart, like your your Mars and your Venus. Well, that's why they say um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I say Mars, too, because Mars deals with the, the type of personality and, and the image that you have when, concerning a mate. Seven of Wands in reverse, Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands, The Judgment, The Tower, gosh, King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Hierophant. Also, we have the Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups and the Sun and the Queen of Wands. I'm just pulling these cards, y'all. Oh boy. So in the past, you gave up on the situation. Okay? You, there was something that you, you felt like you couldn't win. Like, no longer knew what you were fighting for. Eight of Cups talks about walking away from what no longer emotionally serves you. Or you don't see as though that you just felt like it was not for your higher purpose. Okay, and you have the same thing. You have the bowl on fire that's being walked away from. Something that you were passionate about. Something that was surrounding emotion and emotions that you were passionate about. 
something that could have been a fertile situation <clears throat> and towards the sun towards the sun going towards the sun to find your own path look <clears throat> seven of wands in the reverse like seven of wands is talking about um, no longer knowing what you're fighting for that you feel so that something was a hopeless situation and so now you're like you may be you may be a very psychic and intuitive person you know pay attention to your dreams the dream realm look at water the emotions own you know the, the singing bowl you know I mean look at that what is that? that looks like turquoise around her neck you might be a very intuitive person very loving caring nurturing person you know psychic you know you, you may be a healer of some sort but this also can talk about healing yourself like going inside to heal yourself you look like you're a very deeply emotional person and that you had to let something go that you felt as though that was not for your highest good okay so that's what it says again as I said the ten of wands giving up when the ten of wands goes in reverse it means giving up something that was a burden you had to put it down for the judgment to set yourself free you had to set yourself free from something that was burdensome for you the tower struck you you may have you may have gone through an ending that happened abruptly something just took you off guard okay took you completely off guard and this could have been a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries person that you were dealing with or saying that the person that you left behind was very charismatic uh, they were very um, fiery uh, good now the king of wands is an upright it's a good person but it's hard to even with this king of wands it's hard for that king of wands to commit to settle down he's a leader and everything else like like he's a leader but it's like he has a hard time settling down settling down to a family situation to marriage you may have wanted marriage out of this situation and that person was not on that y'all you guys weren't on the same page so it looks like you have left behind somebody now we can also look at this king of wands as finding your own power and your own strength from within but the ten of pentacles in, in the reverse is talking about family inheritance money financial stability the future investing in one's future that it just looks like you've taken your own spiritual path that the situation like that you left it because you knew that you were not going to get the commitment out of it that you actually wanted and like I said okay we got the king of wands here now we have the queen of wands which is are you uh, are you into esoteric arts got the black cat queen of wands is in the upright that means she's a good person magical intuitive special abilities manifesting your own happiness realizing that all is not lost okay hold on for a second that's an easy <coughs> sorry you could be very intuitive psychic into esoteric things um you could you could be a tarot reader you can you could be a, a, a root worker you could be a a, a reiki master um, it looks like you're a deeply spiritual person and you're just trying to find your own happiness right now my cat tore my card up um, five of cups realizing all is not lost now the ten of cups talks about you know okay things you just realized things weren't working in the past okay 
that they weren't working and it's like but it's saying that though that was unsuccessful it's saying that you look at that cheer it you're move you're moving on i don't even know if we need to do a top half of the of the deck just moving on letting it go just moving on putting it behind you it looks like you you went through something that that ended because you wanted a higher commitment and that other person, though they may have been a good person, they weren't able to give you what you wanted, so you had to move on. And you went on your own spiritual journey, you went as that. Um, you could be like into all kinds of esoteric things. You're a very deeply emotional person, very passionate person. So what's coming towards my Capricorn for the remainder of September going forward? In love, what's coming towards my beautiful cat? Cards. Oh, what a drop card! Ooh, I hate dropping cards. Ooh, I hate. Oh, look at you, girl! Look at you! Look at you, huh? Look at you, girlfriend. That's a girlfriend, because Capricorn is feminine, actually. But you could be a masculine. You know, I don't discriminate. Capricorn, look at you. That's you, Capricorn. Nurturing, caring, you know, secure within yourself, knowing who you are. It's like whatever you went through, it, it sent you into spiritual growth and development. And it just made you better thereby. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, filling your own cups, taking care of yourself, going through going after what makes you happy. Man. Nine of Pentacles. I, I don't know if you got a financial endeavor that you're into. If you got like a business or something, it looks like it looks like there very well may be financial prosperity coming your way. That's just a sad note. Something that you've been working on. Um, it looks like it's going to come into fruition, and you're going to have some some future happiness. Page of Wands in the reverse, and the Star card. And the Eight of Swords are in reverse. This is just future tense. Now, Page of Wands, might, you might be getting some negative energy. You might be getting some negative me messages. You know, you might be dealing with a negative person. If this Page of Wands might be... Uh, I don't even see this Page of Wands as, like, representing another other person. I don't think that, that, like, you had bad blood with that person. It was just that you wanted more than what that person was willing to give you. And it looks like you both were just like not bad people. You just couldn't give each other what, what you wanted. And so you've decided to move on to better yourself. That's what it looks like to me. But that page of wands can tell you to not be arrogant, not to be haughty, not to be hasty. You know, take your time to heal. Just slow, yes, look, page, I mean, the, 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 the Knight of Pentacles, slowly, surely. That's like that daggone. Jill Scott's on slowly surely I walk away from you know slowly surely moving on healing oneself wish fulfillment you got the nine of cups and the star card wish fulfillment that's beautiful y'all that's beautiful and the eight of swords like not allowing yourself to get trapped ever again in a situation that you put yourself in like maybe you you know went into the situation against your own better judgment but it's saying that you're better there by six of wands you're gonna something beautiful is coming your way capricorn you're gonna be getting recognition rewards work recognition you're gonna be on stage the lights are gonna be on you low well, capricorn too i'm saying like whoop 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 good energy and vibes come my way please um yeah it looks like you're going to be getting some sort of recognition you could be getting a promotion at your job or it's saying all eyes on me like tupac all eyes on me okay that people are going to be paying attention to you you may have uh i don't know if this is love interest king of cups in the reverse that might be looking uh three of swords in the reverse okay plot twist hold up hold up wait a minute higher fun hold up let me put my foot up in it again the I, I shuffle these cards queen of swords and the sun card again and the five of cups 
Okay. And the Knight of Cups. Somebody that whoever it is that you left behind, they they're <laughs> they're watching you. They're watching you. That's what it is. Six of Wands. This is this is what's coming your way. You may be being watched right now. This person. Whoa. This was somebody. Okay. The King of, King of Cups in the reverse has many meanings. Okay. So many meanings. Um. You know, he, he, he could be somebody who doesn't like committing to things. He can be emotionally manipulative, but he can also be a person who's detached, cold-hearted. But there, there's also somebody who is depressed. Somebody who is sad. Somebody who is hypersensitive, hyper-emotional. That this, it looks like, looking at all that, just seeing how it's going and not the six... The recognition is coming. This is the person you were dealing with. This person sees you moving on, and and and, and they're they're looks like they with the three of swords. They want to reconcile with you. In the reverse, three of swords in the reverse. They would like to reconcile with you. So this person is paying attention to you. They're watching your growth and your development, and how you have recovered from your situation. And they, they see they, they they see you as very being very spiritual, very beautiful, very they made a mistake. They should have committed. Now they want to commit to you. Look how he's smiling. Look how he's smiling. They say you work your magic. Oh my goodness. The sun card. You are the sun. You make me shine. More like the stars that twinkle at night. You are the moon close in my heart. You're my daytime, my nighttime, my world. You are my life. You make them happy now. Oh my gosh. They're coming back with an apology. They want to start over. Two of cups in the reverse. They got them two cups in their hand. Knight of cups. They want to start over. They want to apologize. They want to give you a new offer. Look at that. A new offer. A message of love. Take you out on a date. Whatever. This person now is, they're like unhappy. They're watching you. This is this is what's to come. Or they could be doing that now. That they see how much of a shining, bright, beautiful star that you are that they let go. So they can have an Aries moon. Or they can have strong air in their chart. Or they can have a Scorpio moon. Or have strong Scorpio in their chart. I think it was Aries. Wasn't it Aries? Yeah, Aries. Or have strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or, or Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in their chart. Or maybe they have Scorpio placements in their chart. Or Aries placements in their chart. Some Look, some people don't have those. I, I, I know people who have all... Look at that emperor on the bottom of the deck. They want to be your husband. <laughs> if you're a female, they want to be your husband. Okay? My goodness. Is this a marriage proposal? Oh my damn God. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> my damn goodness. I said, is this a marriage proposal? I done pulled the card, four of wands. And this is also twin flame energy. Golly. Ooh. Queen, a knight of wands, king of swords, or reverse. This person may f be feeling some kind of way. Like there might be a hint of jealousy because they see you recovering and being happy and moving on. And now they're looking at you. This could be happening right now. Seeing you happy, seeing you happy makes them happy and they're proud of you. Because they see you as being a good person. They see you as being a beautiful soul. A, a, a spiritual being. So let's get on into these romance angels. And then I gotta make this my last reading because I gotta go work, y'all. Yes, it's very early here. Oh my goodness. 
So it's not that it ended on bad terms. It's just that you had to put it behind. Or you both may have had to put it behind at the time because you both didn't know that this is what you wanted. But it looks like you just couldn't get the commitment that you wanted out of the situation. So you had to leave it behind. Work on healing yourself and your heart. Not allowing yourself to settle. And going inside and, grow, and, and allow yourself to grow spiritually. To be, become a better person. My alarm hasn't gone off. I wonder what time it is. Let me hurry and finish this up. Alright, romance angels. Tell me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see for my cafes. Last reading of the morning. Oh, wow. Soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. I told you that four of wands was there. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth expressing or not expressing exploring express your love go ahead make the romantic gesture one more just for the sake of it right now you're in separation time apart from a partner is on horizon you're already apart from each other worth waiting for divine timing at work in your love life and you know very that very well may like i said you're separate so this person's keeping an eye on you and they're watching you grow and glow. And it's like that you make them happy. They're proud of you. And because they see you growing and glowing, now they want you back. You know, they want to heal this between the two of you. Oh, I didn't expect this reading to turn like this. It just turned on me. Emotional uh, emotions. It says, you are washed with unexpressed emotions. Say exactly what you feel. It is safe for you to speak your truth soulmate love partnership magnetic attraction between two union you discover a deep sense of self through a relationship with another and one more opportunity it says live in the moment let go of the past there is no point worrying about the future a wonderful opportunity exists for you today embrace it all righty continue on healing cappies continue on glowing and growing uh, this person is watching you. They want to get back with you. Worth waiting for express. Yes, you're separate from each other right now. Separation on the horizon. This could be a new breakup or whatever. But no, because we have past energy. But this person is going to come back with an, uh, I hate to say an offer. You know, what the hell is an offer? You know, <laughs> it's like so mundane to say certain things. I'm like just tarot lingo. But they're coming back. They want to. If they're not coming back, it well, it says they're coming back. Um, maybe with that that page of wands in the reverse, maybe they're having a hard time sending that message. That pass. They might want to send that passionate message, and they're having a hard time doing so because you know if something happened between the two of you, it doesn't look like it was uh, too bad. But you would know better. So that was my reading for you, y'all. I got to get ready for work. Love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Support uh, support my channel. Subscribe to my channel. And um, hit that notification bell so you'll get these updates. And I will catch you all in the next reading. As I always say, peace, love, and light to each and every one of you from my heart chakra to yours. I love you guys. Thank you so much subscribe to your girl hit the notification button if you like a personal reading my information is below if you would like to donate my information is below love you guys email me and we'll speak or we'll, i'll see you all in the next reading as always say peace and so much love thank you and goodbye